When you think about sharks, you probably picture a mouth full of razor-sharp teeth. Thanks to amazingly awful shark horror movies, people generally share a deep fear of the creatures. While there have been various incidents of real-life shark attacks throughout history, sharks are not the natural man-eaters people imagine them to be. Sharks are actually astounding creatures that, contrary to popular belief, don't go around targeting every person in sight or capsizing boats out of revenge. They don't get enough credit for the positive roles they play in the oceans. Without sharks, the oceans would be riddled with dead aquatic life or overpopulated with fast-breeding schools of fish. This is because sharks will often feast on carcasses and consume dense sea life populations, which helps to keep the oceans clean, healthy, and balanced. So to all the shark haters out there, don't hate, appreciate. Sharks have special sensory organs known as the ampullae of Lorenzini, which are deep pores found around their snouts. The ampullae are sensitive electroreceptors that help with hunting. A shark uses this electroreception sensory system to detect electrical activity that fluctuates from its prey, such as a creature's beating heart. Sharks have been around for over 419 million years and have adapted to increase their survival rates. The great white was recorded as the largest predatory fish in the ocean, averaging 15 to 20 feet long. While great whites may sound intimidating in stature, there was an even larger predatory shark that lived millions of years ago called the Megalodon. Megalodons resembled the great white in every aspect, save for its immense size. In length alone, the Megalodon was said to have grown up to 59 feet. Sharks are known for their powerful jaws and rows of razor-sharp teeth. The great white has over 300 teeth in their mouths at one time, with some lying beneath the gum line waiting to push to the surface and replace any teeth that will fall out. Shark teeth are not attached to the gum line with a root, which allows them to grow and replace any lost teeth daily. In addition to their crazy dental disposition, sharks can also dislocate their upper jaws to widen their bite. If the cheetah were a fish, it might be a mako shark. The shortfin mako is reported as being the fastest shark in the world's oceans. These sleek creatures can attain bursts of speed as high as 46 miles per hour. This has been dubbed the species with the title cheetah of the sea as the cheetah can reach speeds of 60 to 70 miles per hour. The secret to the short fin mako speed lies in its scales, used to make sharp turns. In addition, their fast speed even allows them to propel out of the water and jump up to 30 feet in the air. You might be shocked to know some sharks can walk on land. Yes. Four new species of walking sharks were discovered in Northern Australia and New Guinea in January 2020. Scientists from several research institutions spent 12 years studying walking sharks before announcing the new species. The walking sharks evolved just 12 million years ago and are therefore the youngest shark species known to man. Though they live on the ocean floor, walking sharks can in fact walk on dry land. They're not a threat to anyone other than small crustaceans and mollusks. It's dark in the deep sea, so tiny lantern sharks have developed their own way to glow in the dark and appear invisible to predators below them. It's not yet known if this is to find food, find each other, or help avoid being eaten. Researchers believe the sharks may be glowing to attract a mate and to ward off or hide from predators. The blue shark displays a brilliant blue color on the upper portion of its body and is normally snowy white beneath. The mako and poor beagle sharks also exhibit a blue coloration, but it's not nearly as brilliant as that of a blue shark. In life, most sharks are brown, olive, or grayish. Sharks have extreme strong vision. In fact, a shark can see 10 times better than a human as far as over 100 feet away. Sharks have panoramic viewing capabilities and usually have three minor blind spots that limit their visual perception. Most are blind to whatever is directly in front of their nose, so sharks swing their heads back and forth as they swim in an effort to eliminate that blind spot. Many sharks are accidentally caught in fishing gear as well as caught deliberately for their fins, which are a delicacy in Asia. Their ocean home is also in danger from climate change warming the water affecting both habitats, prey, and shark population shifts to plastic pollution, which could cause entanglement or be ingested, especially by filter feeders. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos. Let us know in the comment box below if you have any suggestions for our future videos.